All right, so this video is about the Creality K1. In April of this year, I made a video where I said that Creality's new K1 and K1 Max would dominate the Core XY market for the foreseeable future. Now they sent me one, so stick around and find out if I'm gonna apologize or I'm gonna say I told you so. I know, I know, hear me out. Creality, like any other 3D printing brand, has an extremely strong following of people that love the brand, and of course, a little mob of people that hate the brand. The truth, I don't care about any of that. I'm here to celebrate 3D printing, the technology in our space, and to invite as many people as I can into 3D printing. Let me start off by saying that Creality sent us this machine, no strings attached. They definitely didn't cherry pick this machine because we did have some problems with it, but I'll share those with you at the end. Now, let me explain to you what I meant about dominating the Core XY market. Creality has a massive amount of brand recognition and an extremely loyal user base. If you jump out and you go to TikTok or you go to Instagram, uh, Twitter, well, X now, and you do a search for Creality, you will find that there is a massive amount of people that love the Creality brand. It was their first printer. It was the printer that got them into 3D printing. And it's the printer that they've been tinkering with. It's the printer that they've been upgrading and fixing and improving the quality of. They're very experienced with them and they love the brand. Now, inversely, there are people that went through that experience that don't like the brand or switched brands. But I'm telling you right now that there are far more people that love the Creality brand than have a distaste for the brand. Is Creality your brand? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if it isn't your brand, let me know and let me know why. And while you're commenting below, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell, and listen to this message about our sponsor. Polymaker is the official sponsor of the LM Show, our live 3D printing show on Twitch, where we nerd and geek out three times a week about 3D printing at 5 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash loyalmoses. We have giveaways almost every time we go live for 3D printers, filament, and accessories. We'd love to see you there. Back to Creality dominating the Core XY 3D printing market for a moment. How many 3D printers do you think is a lot to sell each month? A thousand 3D printers to sell a month is a lot. For a company? I mean, think about it. There's domestic companies that would love to sell 1,000 3D printers a month. What about 5,000? Now, logistically, think about 5,000 3D printers. Think about what it takes to assemble 5,000 3D printers and ship those in a month. And there's some companies here that would love to do that. Well, what about Prusa? Popular brand, great printer, been around a long time, great success story. Prusa sells, according to their website, on average 9,000 3D printers a month. That is a lot. Think about that for a moment. 300 machines are assembled and shipped on average a day from Prusa. Creality, do you think they sell double? 20,000, 30, 40, 50,000 3D printers a month? How about 60,000 3D printers a month from Creality? Nope, still too low. Creality on average sells 80 plus thousand 3d printers a month in the last 12 months creality shipped 1 million plus 3d printers think about what that takes to manufacture and ship a million 3d printers and that's what i'm talking about when it comes to dominating the 3d printing market they come out with this creality k1 a super fast speedy core xy machine fully enclosed fully loaded fully assembled turnkey ships right to your home you unbox within minutes your 3d printing this is their new flagship machine they're going to dominate the core xy market for the foreseeable future put quality aside let's just remove the fact let's remove quality from the equation let's talk simply about numbers they have a massive user base they have a massive brand following they are going to dominate this market simply with sheer numbers now let's bring quality in the quality on the k1 fantastic the the machine that we received is absolutely wonderful save the issue that we had and i'll explain that issue at the end but the machine the quality is great and there are people that are raving and loving this machine and that's what i'm saying the sheer numbers that creality will ship will blow away any other 3d printing company in our space for the foreseeable future this machine is fast unbelievably fast like 600 millimeters per second fast the slicing is great the results are excellent and i think if you're looking for a fast, reliable, turnkey, fully assembled, fully enclosed 3D printer that prints all the usual suspects of filaments from PLAs to PTGs, ABSs, ASAs, polycarbonates, all of it, you will be extremely happy with Creality's K1 or K1 Max. Also, the K1 Max, that is a 300 millimeter cubed monster of a machine with LiDAR, the AI camera, it has it all, and it's what, 999? No wait, it's 899. Holy crap. Think about that. That is a 
fully enclosed helmet class Core XY machine for $899. Now, RK1 Max is supposed to be arriving soon. And man, I can't I can't wait for that. I hope it gets here sooner than later. Oh, and let me mention our affiliate link. If any of these machines interest you, we'll have our link in the description below. If you end up purchasing a machine through that affiliate link, it helps us out significantly. So thank you. Uh, we're not going to go into detail about the specs of the machine. You can read a website. But the machine basically has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter bed. It has a removable lid for printing heat creep prone filaments like PLA. The nozzle is a 300C nozzle. The build plate is 100C, so that's all quite normal, quite standard. If you are considering picking up one of these machines, I would recommend their nozzle kit. Now, I didn't get one, and I kind of wish they'd sent me one, and I'll probably reach out to Creality and ask for one. The nozzle kit comes with a range of nozzles from 0.4 to 0.8. And there's a couple of different types, copper alloy and hardened steel. The copper alloy will have better thermal conductivity for better flow, and the hardened steel will be a little bit better for abrasive filaments. Now, whenever I talk about the Crowdy K1, this question comes up, and it comes up a lot in our community. And that is, what about multicolor filament printing? Because the bamboo, P1P, the P1S, the X1 Carbon, they all have the AMS as an option. I'm not going to confirm this, but I'm going to tell you, I have been told that there is a multicolor filament option coming. Don't quote me on it. Like I said, I'm not going to confirm it here in this video, but I have been told that. Now think about that for a moment. That gets me pretty darn excited. The K1 at $599, the K1 Max at $899, I can only imagine multicolor filament filament printing on a K1 Max helmet class 3D printer starting at $899 for just the machine. I don't know what a multicolor system would cost, but that gets me darn excited. Okay, our issue. It really wasn't a bad problem. It was something that I understand can happen. Matter of fact, it happens with manufacturers, every manufacturer, sooner or later. But we had a belt problem. We had a loose belt on the machine that, that arrived. Well, live during the show, we had ringing on the prints, and that really bothered me. I was hoping for a perfect experience, but like I said, it's real life. I, I, I'm glad to know that they didn't cherry pick a machine for us and send us one that didn't represent uh, you know, what can happen. The loose belt was easy to fix. I simply took out a hex driver. I reached in the back. First, I think I started on the left side. I loosened up those bolts. I slipped them over with my thumb, applied a little bit of belt tension evenly the best that I could, tightened them down, moved to the right side, did the exact same thing on the right side. These machines aren't rockets going to Mars, so I mean, there's a little bit of wiggle room. Tightened down the right side, recalibrated, reprinted, and the prints came out absolutely fantastic. And they came out exactly like others that I'd seen online. So I was very happy that that was such a simple problem to fix. Now, should we have had loose belts? No. Is that a problem? Not really. I think that it's something that's going to happen as Core XY machines become a little bit more popular, a little bit more common. I think that they'll figure it out. I think uh, we know that Bamboo had problems with their belts in the beginning, and they've since worked that out. And I think that uh, Creality will work that out. I think it's not just a Creality issue. I think you're going to see that, like I said, uh, everywhere. And eventually, the industry will come up with better solutions uh, to make sure that the belts are consistent and they have auto tightening or auto tensioning, and that'll just get resolved. Ultimately, I am super excited about Creality having a flagship 3D printer, turning to a a machine that's turnkey, shipped right to your home, fully assembled, unbox it within minutes in your printing for a greater number of people to have a higher likelihood of success. That's what I'm all about. And if we can invite more people into 3D printing and we can meet these people and they can participate in the hobby and the passion that we have, I mean, what more could you ask for? I'm really looking forward to this new generation of makers and crafters that Creality is inviting into this space with these machines, and I can't wait to meet them all. Let me take a quick moment to thank our YouTube members. You make this content possible. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, there's a little join button below. You can click that and I'll make sure that you're included in every single one of our videos. Thank you so much, Sir Will 3 d Joel Finn, Brandon0109, Wasting Time, Cam Nicholas, Luppy Leptonium, The Cinzia, Patrick W3D, Rip Artist, Free Dog Knight, Cetral, Your Buddy Denek, Buddha 3D, and Jedi Spidey. Thank you so much. Thanks for making it this far. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.